Good morning from Disney Springs. It is a Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. Also, very hot out already. It's, oh, yeah. What time is it now? It's like 1130 and it is already 85 degrees in the shade. Mm -hmm. Just gonna get hotter from here. <laughs> I think like, this is this is it. I think we've had our, yeah. our cold days are over. Yeah. Um, but we're just letting you guys know. So if you're planning on coming, you know what kind of weather to expect. Be prepared. Yes. As they say in the Lion King. <laughs> Uh, we're just here to like kind of have a look around and do a little bit of shopping, mm -hmm. maybe get some lunch. Well, another thing I wanted to look at was, so one of our last Disney Springs videos, we came and we saw the Disney Cruise Line pop-up. I want to see what it looks like. I want to see like what they have left. I have it picked clean. I, I bet it is. Right. But I definitely want to check it out. It's over in the Marketplace Co-op. Also right across from the Marketplace Co-op, we've been saying that we're going to get these Dole Whip nachos for <laughs> weeks upon weeks. It was something that um, you, you have been sending to us. It was something that was on TikTok. It was all over the internet. It was a viral sensation. We got to try it. Yeah. And then whatever else we can find, we'll do it. Tim said he needed to go into Sephora for some hair products. I have to go into Sephora. <laughs> I need to go into Sephora. So let's go do it. Yeah, as soon as we walk in, it's not bad here. There's like not a very big crowd at all. Nice light Wednesday morning. Oh, look at that balloon swaying. You heard me like stutter for a bit because I was like looking at the balloon like, oh my, look at that. It's uh, not even really windy right now. I don't know what's going on. That looks um, not fun. Right? Oh man. Oh yeah, it's, it's a surprisingly light crowd here today. Compared to like the last time that we were here, it was slight. Well, I thought for sure that there would be people here because it's Cinco de Mayo. Oh yeah. Nobody's, nobody's really here. I wonder. Maybe we're before the rush. Yeah, maybe. Do you think we can look in sugar booths? Sure, why not? I always kind of dislike this quote from Winnie the Pooh. If you live to be a hundred, I want to live to be a hundred minus one day. So I would never have to live a day without you. But then, you then they have would to have live to live a day without me. I so, haha, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> they have these things called magic penny top but I'm telling you, for $5.50, but you get a penny with it, like that's a deal right there. It's really only $5.49 if you think about it. Go out and put good things into the world, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. That's because I put everything into it. My favorite dad joke is to go into this store and ask them if they have any water for sale. They never do. <laughs> I'm sure they love that. Right? They probably never heard it. Um, the thing that I really like about the Sugar Boo place is that all of the art is like folk art. Oh yeah. I think it's really cool. Like the, it's just, it's different. I like the style of everything in there. I always want to buy everything. It is a little bit pricey, but everything is very cute. But it reminded me of the time that we came and we did the folk art tour at House of Blues. Yeah. I'm gonna Super link, cool. It was, it was so neat. Like it was something that I feel like probably gets overlooked. I'm gonna link that video down below if you haven't watched it. Please check it out. It was so super cool. This is interesting. Over here at Sperry, they've got some shoes that are, they float and they're made of like rubber. Almost oh, like. They're like Crocs. They're like the native shoes. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, the same thing Crocs, the native shoes, the same material. Interesting. Wow. Oh. Uh, finally, I've been waiting to go to Sephora, but Jen's been like, no, no, no. <laughs> so now we're going in. Yeah. It's, it's me who doesn't want to go in. All right, so we found Tim's hair clay, but I also wanted to see if they had something that, so they just had a big sale, like the VIB sale, and I bought a bunch of stuff, but there was one thing that they sold out of. I want to see if they have it now, but the sale's not going. It's Kristen, called brow fluff. It's called brow freeze. Close. Brow freeze. You, you're good. Brow freeze. <laughs> oh, sold out. Okay, so they don't have the brow freeze. It's totally sold out because of the TikTok product that's just gone. So I'm gonna try the iconic brow silk kit with brush combo. So I thought it was really cool. It comes with the brush. So this is almost more like um, when you do the soap brows. It's kind of like that. It's like a like a mustache wax for your eyebrows. <laughs> okay. That so comes with a toothbrush. It does. Yeah, but not really a toothbrush. It's an eyebrow brush, yeah, but it yeah. looks like a toothbrush. So I'm excited to try this. I'll let you guys know how it works out. So this is what it looks like here. It comes with this brush. It's just like a little plastic brush with like the, um, almost like the, the boar hair bristles. And then it really, it looks like the soap. Like it would be like the soap brow. So it's 25 bucks. We'll see how it works if it holds my brows up. So I always love going into the Sephora at Disney Springs because they are so nice and they don't make you feel silly if you don't know something. Right. I've been to other Sephoras um, and sometimes I feel like stupid because I don't know a lot about makeup. And so the, in there, they're, they're so super nice and they're so super helpful. So I just wanted to say that. They, yeah. I, I really like shopping at that Sephora specifically. And they give you little hacks too. Oh they're yeah. They're like, maybe She's try like, this. You know what she told me was um, somebody, she was like, I know we don't have the brow freeze, but you might just try hair gel. It's kind of like the same thing. And I was like, 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try it, way cheaper. So we last time we were here, we bought some stuff from Shore and uh, we didn't have enough time to try it on, so we just oh. took it home and tried it on. Now we just gotta return some stuff and get the correct see. size. I got a bigger size, that never happens to me. Usually I get stuff too small. Oh so. yeah. Mm. This is like, this is totally a shirt for me. I was just looking over at their shoes that they have here and they have some native shoes, which is the, they're like the rubber croc type shoes that I've seen at Disney before. I didn't know that they made like actual other kinds of shoes. These feel like you would just wear them without socks, almost like water shoes, but they have insoles so they're not water shoes. They're kind of cool. Seem very comfortable. How much are they? Doesn't say. Hmm. I also like these. These actually are water shoes or could be water shoes because they're made by a sandal company. Same with these over here. I wouldn't say you would wear them in the water, but if they got wet, it's okay. All right, it's time for lunch, but before that, we're gonna head into anthropology real quick because we need to place a mobile order because we're gonna go eat a deluxe. It'll be a nice air-conditioned place to place our mobile order rather than sitting out in the sun and doing it. So we're in anthropology. I just saw a dress in the window that I thought was so super cute, but then we walked in and I saw something even cuter. Look at this. They have matching dress sets for you and your small child. Isn't that adorable? Look at this yeah. one. This is so cute. I love this. And for lunch, we're headed to Deluxe Burger. Okay, so today I'm living my dreams. It's always been a dream of mine to sit at this table and eat my lunch. And today, we got to sit at this table and yeah. eat our lunch. <laughs> so we are all the way at the outer spot on this dock out here, which is kind of right next to Deluxe Burger, just across from the, this is the guest services building, and you can see Frontera Cocina in front of us. They're like hopping today for Cinco de Mayo. I feel yeah. like we should have eaten there, but yeah. Deluxe Burger is always delicious. And last time we were here, I said I was gonna try the pimento cheeseburger. Yeah. This looks so messy and so delicious. I can't wait to bite into this. Look at that cheese. Oh my gosh. I, I I wanted to like open it to show you a better look, but I don't know if I can. I think it's just gonna go everywhere. Yeah, here, let me see if I can. So it has, um, let me turn it this way. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it has pimento cheese, bacon. There's a fried green tomato on there. And there's grilled onions on there too, somewhere. Okay, this is gonna be messy, but I think it's gonna be like worth it. And look at this view. Yeah, the bluest of water. Holy cow. We can practically smell Gideon's cooking their cookies over there. So, by the way, cooking cookies is uh, very hard to say. Well, they're baking them. They're baking their cookies. Baking cookies. But I also want to stop after lunch. I want to stop by there and just see what the wait is like. And they have a new cookie. I want to see if we can get it. So Gideon's every month has a new cookie. This month, I think it's the peanut butter espresso cookie. So it's like their peanut butter cold brew drink, which is fantastic. Highly recommend trying that if you haven't. But they have a cookie that's that flavor. Yeah. I want to get it. So I'm going to take mine out of the package in just a second. But this is their limited time burger. This is a bacon double stack burger. Two pressed signature blend patties, cheddar, bacon, lettuce, tomato, pickle, and grilled onions on a house-made Parker House roll. I don't know what makes a roll a Parker House roll, but we had them. Where did we have them at? Boathouse. And they were delicious. Yeah, the Boathouse's bread is so good. Also, how much are these burgers? Uh, this one was $11.49. Okay. And yours was $13.49. So mine was cheaper than yours. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of surprising. You're paying a prime price for that tomato. I, th I think it's for the pimento cheese. Oh, for cheese. the pimento, yeah. Yeah. But I did want to show you on the app, yeah. the burger looks totally different. Oh, does it? Not, I mean, it looks much larger on the app and the bacon's sticking out everywhere. Oh no. As opposed to mine, the bacon's just kind of in there. Still looks good. How does mine look on the app? Um, pretty similar. Huh. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> that still, still is a solid looking burger though. With the bacon sticking out a little bit there. Oh yeah. Oh God. Looks pretty nice. So one thing about Deluxe Burger is they don't give you plates. Oh, yeah. Everything's kind of just like wrapped up. So you have to kind of make your own little plate with your wrapper and you can see this is like dripping kind of a lot. Oh yeah, I can't wait for you to see mine. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mine's really messy. For the health and safety of everyone, face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth. I mean, it looks really good. I feel like I could use some sort of sauce on it though. Well, so they yes. give you a dipping sauce. I think it's for your fries. You got the truffle aioli, yeah. and I got the ranch buffalo. But I feel like you could put it on your burger. Yeah. I don't know. But it's, it's kind of strange because there's not, there's no sauce, like no ketchup, no mustard. 
Oh, really? Yeah, there's nothing on there. I mean, I know that they do have that inside for you to kind of do on your own. Huh. Maybe they want you to kind of customize your burger how you like it. Yeah. Yeah. But is it though. pretty good, though? Yeah. But yeah, I could use the sauce. Would you order it again? Yeah. I would for sure order mine again. Okay, so I'm gonna, I've, I've already started eating mine, but, um... You want a bite? Mmm. Is that yummy? He's like, I don't know, mom. So most of my cheese was on one side. So right now, I don't have a lot of cheese. I ate I ate the side that was like the cheesiest first, um, which was delicious. And I think the side without, like with less cheese, is less tasty. Okay. The cheese really makes the burger. But it is really good. Highly recommend trying it if you like pimento cheese and if you like fried green tomatoes. Are you so excited, buddy? <laughs> I know he loves being out by the water. I have to say, this is the best seat in all of Disney Springs. It's very nice. Yeah, this is our, our special secret seat that nobody Don't knows tell about. Anybody. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love being able to look over at the springs. Of course, these are not like a real natural spring. This is a man-made spring. It's like a gigantic swimming pool. Yeah, a gigantic swimming pool that you can't swim in. But it is beautiful. Disney did an amazing job creating the spring to look like a real Florida spring. It's awesome. And I love that they have the little like lanterns in it. At night they light up. It's so pretty. And you can look over at the bridge over there. I love it. This is amazing. I'd like to go like scuba dive, not like even just snorkeling in this, just to like get down there and look at it. Yeah, to have a closer look. Yeah, I, I agree. Think it'd be neat. Me too, yeah. We just found another angle of looking at the springs that looks really, really realistic. Like the rock work and the plants, and then the way that it slopes into the water. They did such a good job. Yeah, if you've ever been to a Florida spring, this is what it looks like. If I ever won the lottery, I would want to make a pool like this in our backyard. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Right? I feel like it might be a little dangerous with like the overhangs and stuff like that, but yeah, we'll figure fun. it out. Lottery money. All right, so we are all done at Deluxe, which is that building just across the water there. And I wanted to show this piece of theming off, or at least I think it's theming here. This is the homecoming building. And it says here, Florida Ranchers, Jasper Family Farms, serving Florida families for over six generations. Is this a real place or is this just part of the overall theming of that building? I never know, I never know with Disney because their theming is so well done. But let me know, have you ever been to Jasper Farms? Is it real? So now I am headed over to Gideon's to check out the wait time. Tim is in the bathroom at the moment, I have to say, as good as Deluxe Burger is, sometimes it can be rough on your stomach just with the amount of grease and everything, but it's worth it. It's it's real good. So I'm gonna head over to Gideon, see what the wait time is, let you guys know. I wonder if the wait has gone down since they've opened. That's something that um, I feel like some days there's no wait at all. Other days there's still a four hour wait. So let's see what today holds. So far this is looking pretty promising because usually the line is way out here. And right now I think the end of the line is this person under this umbrella. So let's see. So over here at Gideon's, normally you would join the virtual queue at the end of the physical line. Now that's the return spot. The virtual queue, you're added over here. You can see Jen's talking to her right now, asking how long the wait is for the virtual queue. So every month they have a new cookie. Like we said right now, the limited edition cookie is peanut butter espresso, but they also have a new menu with new artwork on it every month. And this one says halfway to Halloween. Barnabas Mustafa Little. You know what's really funny is, so we watch Bluey all the time, which is like a kid's show on Disney Junior. Yeah. And she always names everything Barnabas. Barnaby. No, Barnacus. Then she names it Barnaby. Okay, just kidding. Still, <laughs> cool name, I like the name. Yeah. Barnabas. Halfway to Halloween, Did I wow. say Barnabas? Yeah, where's this year gone? I don't know. That's nuts, I can't believe it's already halfway. I know. Well, how long do they quote us? Oh, 85 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it was, it looked like there wasn't gonna be a line, and then she's like, oh, it's 85 minutes, and I was kind of shocked. Yeah, always like swinging by Vivoli Il Gelato to see what special thing they have right now. So Cruella is coming out soon, and they've got Cruella de Witch, s'mores cookie, sugar cookie, with chocolate chip gelato in between. Ooh, just that s'mores cookie sounds good. Next stop, the co-op, the Marketplace co-op, 
merchandise release. I don't know. So we came into the Disney Cruise Line pop-up to see if there was anything that was missing, and I am noticing that the rash guards are not here anymore. I was kind of bummed that I missed that specific castaway key misprint rash guard. So now I feel like I need to keep a keen eye out to see if there are any other misprints around, because I want to buy them. Side note, the last time that we were here, they had, they had sold out of the lounge flies. We bought one of these, but they're back in stock. And so is the mini, I think this might be like the sail away with mini. Let's say, yeah, let's sail away. The sail away with mini line of the lounge fly backpacks. And somebody had mentioned in our comments that all of the luggage had sold out. It looks like it's all back in stock. So right now, the only thing that I'm seeing that's not in stock is some of, or one of the lounge fly backpacks and the, the rash guards are not here, but they do have the waist pack. Oh, okay, okay. All right, this one's spelled right. This one definitely says cast away key. Whereas the, when we were looking at the rash guards, they said cast away key. Without the away, they just said cast away. But these things, everything out here seems to say cast away. Here is the waist pack from Lounge Fly for $45. This is the same style of the backpack that is sold out. Oh yeah, that one like sold out the very first day. Yeah, but you can see it has like mini ears on it too with the bow and the anchor. I like that the hardware is rose gold. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. It's super cute. So this one is $45. Yeah. Let me see the, the, the back other, like, here. Too. Yeah, so this doesn't have the sequins on the inside. It's yeah, just so the it like- stick uh, to your shirt or anything yeah. like that. Seems like, and it's a nice smooth band, so it'll like move around your body easily. I like it. You look hip, on your hips. Thanks. So back in the Wonderground Gallery, they have a little section here that is a world of voices honoring Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. So we've got some artwork back here, which is way cool. This is a piece of art called My Pretty Hat Mulan by Fenway Fan. I like that it looks like it's like a collage or like paper, like paper, cut out paper, but it's not, it's an actual printed piece of art. And then there's this one and there's not a sign that says what this one is called, but this one is specifically a limited edition of 95 of them and is $175. So the new merchandise release is this Moana Dooney and Burke. And it looks like they have two different sizes. They've got this big one here and this one is $298. It's got little baby Moana here, the heart of Tafiti, and the grandmother. This is from the very beginning of the movie. And on the back there she is with Pua and Hey Hey's on the boat with Maui and the Kakamora. And then the inside, there's a different print. Sorry, there were three different sizes. This one's 198. And it is the this is the pattern that's on the inside of that bigger one right there. And then there's this third size right here. And this one is $268. Same pattern, it's kind of like a, I don't know what any of these things are called. This is a crossbody, I know that. This one, I don't know. There's a Dooney and Burke That's magic really cute. band. So it's got her like little baby Moana and then the adult Moana. Oh, yeah. Is that slider made of metal or does it just look like it's metal? I think it's plastic. It feels like it's metal. You got the baby Moana on there. And then the adult Moana with Pua. The same design that's on the bag. It's really pretty. And the magic bands are $48. Is there a limit on these? Two. Two. So you can buy two big ones, two cross bodies, two medium size, and two magic bands. I feel like this is like a, um, what do you call it? Like, like a, a carpet bag? Well, you know those like doctor bags? Oh. Yeah. What do they call those? I thought it was called a carpet bag. Is that called a carpet bag? Well, no, that's what Mary Poppins has as a carpet bag. Oh, okay. Just notice that on the bottom of the large bag, it says Disney, Moana, the sea is calling me, the heart of Tafiti. I like it. Yeah. The thing that I don't like about these is how it kind of looks blurry. Like, look at look at Maui. Like, he, he it's not well, like a sharp picture of Maui. I think it's because of the because texture. Because of the texture, yeah. yeah. But I feel like this big bag, it's like Pua's face. It's, it's blurrier than this stuff. Like, I feel like this is a little bit more defined. Oh, look, there's grandma's tattoo and everything. That's grandma. That's grandma. All right, so I'm making an executive decision here. It's a bit too hot for Jackson out right now. So we're gonna head home. We're missing out on our Dole Whip nachos again. We will come back. I pinky promise that the next time that we come, this is your pinky. Pretend like this is your pinky. You have to kiss it? TLV, we're pinky promising right now. Oh yeah, that was so a TikTok. Pretend, or Sheesh. not pretend. 
<laughs> so the next time that we come here, I pinky promise you, we will get that. That'll be the first thing we do. Yeah. We're gonna run back here and rope. We're gonna drop rope the drop the nachos. <laughs> yeah. So sorry, I'm sorry we didn't get them. Also, the Mrs. Incredible thing's gone. Now it's something new. Oh, so we can never get it. We can never get it. We missed out on that one. Oh no. Yeah. We, okay, we have to get the nachos next time. Right. I do want to say though, this orange vanilla slushy that they have. Sounds, yeah, I gotta show that. That sounds the, real the, good. The flavor of the month: vanilla orange slushy float. So it's vanilla soft serve on top of an orange slushy. Sounds really good. Yeah. Six so, buckarooskies. We'll definitely have to be back. What is it? What do they call them in Bowie? Six, six dollar bucks. Six dollar bucks. Before we leave, we wanted to head into World of Disney, see if they had any of the new Captain America stuff. See, the problem with World of Disney is you walk in and go, all right, I'm looking for one specific thing. Where, uh, where do you think it would be? I don't know. I feel like there's a Marvel section back here, so we're gonna head back there. Looks like we've got lots of Black Widow stuff. Nice little like leathery, it's not actual leather, but a Her Universe jacket. And this is $85 with the Black Widow symbol on the back. So the whole reason we came back was to try to find some of the Falcon and Winter Soldier stuff. There's a Winter Soldier action figure. And then this is a, right? This is Falcon and Winter Soldier. Hard to tell, like what? It might, it might, I don't even know what this is. They still still have a lot of these Vision shirts here for $35 from WandaVision. So it feels like the only thing that I can find that's Falcon and Winter Soldier is this shirt. And it is $30. I'm gonna keep looking though. Oh, I guess these socks down here too. So over here in the new emo section, it's like we've got Pooh and Eeyore. Which we've, I've never seen them before. Hard to even show them off without looking like I'm squishing their heads. They also said that there's new clothes for them. Okay. I don't know which ones are new. Look how cute these are. Oh yeah. I love these little, in the little shoes. Oh my gosh, look at this little visor. That's fun. Stop, why are these cooler than me? I don't know, how do I wear clothes like I this? I love it. Look at this one, you could dress them up like they're Oogie Boogie bounding. This is so cute. Right? But. We're trying to find Miss Piggy and Kermit and we've never found them. So the one time that we came in here and asked about them, they said they sold out immediately. Yeah. So I think it's just a lot of people love the Muppets. I think so. Yeah. Over here at Amaretz, part of a world of voices honoring Asian Pacific American heritage. Ooh, this sounds so good. Chef Jesse's dessert, Jasmine tea cream tart. Wow. That, that looks very delicious. Man, we have to come back. So we didn't realize that they were doing this World of Voices um, event. We need to come back and try the food and stuff. Yeah. And actually like get a good look at everything because I we're so full from all the food we ate. Yeah. So we'll have to, cause that sounds real good. It does. So you guys know how much we love Amaretz. We love their pastries and their desserts. Everything there is so delicious. We've never had their actual food, like their, their lunch Oh yeah, they items. have like sandwiches and savory yeah. crepes and stuff like that. We should go there next time and check it out because their sandwiches look really good. Yeah. Okay, so Let's there you it. go. All right, next. so we're gonna get Dole Whip nachos, uh -huh. Amaretz food. And that tart. And that tart. And I'm sure there's more that we're missing. Oh yeah. When we bought Jackson his balloon, the person that sold it to us said the up balloon at Disney Springs really sells out quick and we didn't know what they were talking about. This is it. Look at how much fun that is. It's like, at the house and everything is inflatable. Such a cool balloon. And they only have like five of them. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Disney Springs. Had some delicious lunch, saw some really interesting merchandise. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, just kind of walked around. It was very hot today. I think the thing that I like about Disney Springs is there's always something new because there yeah. are so many stores. There's always some new release of merchandise or some new food item. It's just, there's always something new to see. And we promise, I know that I said this last time, but we promise. Pinky swear. The next time that we're here, we are going to get the Dole Whip Nachos. We're doing it. Hold us, hold us to it. I hope that they're good. <laughs> I think, uh, honestly, everybody says they're delicious, so I can't imagine that everybody's wrong. Right. So, but we'll check it out next time. Yeah, all right. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>